Virtual DJ 8. Questions I will take at the end or during, it doesn't matter, we're not a big audience. So we can do questions during. Were you guys at the previous show that we showed Virtual DJ 8 off to? We did in Atlantic City? No, so you've seen nothing, that's awesome. Because I can show you all the cool features that we got for Virtual DJ 8 for you. So this is Virtual DJ, uh, well it looks like version 7. This is what you guys all have at home if you have Virtual DJ. Uh, as you can see there is a timeline option here. We're not going to get into that right now. Let me show you some other things. But that's the only difference you're going to see basically in this skin. I'm sure you see me when you walked up uh, resizing the screen. So basically you don't need a skin anymore based on resolution. Just maximize and minimize it in real time on any screen. So any uh, any skin will automatically resize for you by doing that at the bottom there. Uh, this is the new configuration panel. Start at audio here. When you start to set these items up, it's going to automatically populate for you as you go. So if we had an external mixer connected right now, which we do. Are we using it in headphones mode? I'm sorry. When I click this this morning, when I set this up, as soon as I click that, it automatically grabbed that and set up the two channels for me. So it's a little more intelligent when it comes to that. Another thing, big thing for Virtual DJ 8 is going to be that it supports uh, multiple sound cards as far as bitrate goes. So it used to be 16-bit, so we didn't, be, we weren't able to support 24-bit, uh, 32-bit sound cards like from Rain and things like that. So now I'll be able to support that. So completely rewritten. The sound engine is completely rewritten. This is the skin area now. It's called interface as opposed to skins. As you can see on the right hand side there, you get a uh, live preview of the skin that you're going to pick as opposed to picking it. Up next, we got the controller sec section here. Now this has been redone. It's been set up to be a little easier to use as far as mapping goes. It's still similar to the other one. Uh, if you click on something and you have a controller, uh, you choose to learn it. Oh, we're on keyboard. So by clicking a key, I can automatically start to type it in. But the beautiful thing is, is when I start to write here, what I want to do, play, pause, whatever, it automatically populates some ideas and things you can do there. If you're into scripting. This is the new options area. You guys are all familiar with the registry tool. We've basically taken that and embedded it right into the software for you. You don't have to have a separate tool. Um, have you guys seen the colored waveforms? I'm sure you've seen it. So now you have an option to have colored waveforms in Virtual DJ. DirectX support now in Virtual DJ, so everything's going to be smoother. You're actually able to zoom into the, the, the scratch right there and see it. Uh, you guys all grabbed 7.3, right? So you see that there's the um, new EQ, so that's built into this too as well. It gives you the ability to actually assign different variables. So for people to have say new or Pioneer, whatever controller you have, you can actually put the frequencies in to match the hardware. Okay, so let's get back to the interface. The broadcast, record, and remote are all the same still. Uh, the remote for video has been redone. Basically, you, all you need to do is click record. You don't have to get the codecs and all that other kind of stuff you just have to do. They used to have to do. Okay, so we go back to the interface. 
let's show you. So this may not be the exact default interface, but we are redoing the interface for Virtual DJ. We now have the sampler loops, cues, video window, and a scratch wave here as well. You can also have one here if you want. are now called points of interest. If you right click on the waveform here, you're going to pull up a window and that's going to give you the ability to take a look at and see where you want to move the cue point to. You can zoom in and zoom out. These bars indicate, indicate your four beat grid. So you can line it up. They snap to grid too as well if you want. You can also set your cue points up as remix points. And when you do that, let's make a new remix point. Go to remix mode. So this has already populated different remix points for the song for you, first beat break. Now these are quantized for you, so when you're playing a song in deck two or deck one, whichever one you're moving into, these are going to be quantized for you. So if you click on them or trigger it with a controller, it's going to be in time for you every time. So I'll play a little bit of track here for you. Let's see what we got.
And then by doing that, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but this is obviously not fitting in there, so now it scrolls back and forth so you can read the sound. All I'm doing for that is just holding control and hitting minus. That's just how I sound. Video engine's been completely redone as well. Uh, we have some new transitions. I'll show you some of those uh, that we've been working on. Um, the skin is now fully modular. So if you grab a different skin, it's uh, modular here. It's, um, this controller is going to really be great. skinning our plugins to look a little bit more professional. Uh, so here's one of the first ones that we've done, the Wawa. But you can actually take that and pop it. I'll do this again, but we're probably not going to be able to hear you very well during DJ team. Any questions? I have a lot of thoughts. 